Welcome to the History Law Channel. Join me here at the Gloucester and Warwickshire Steam Railway. So certainly not in London today. And uh, James isn't behind the camera. Let's see if in my other half. He's here on holiday with me. And uh, we're going to go for a steam train ride today. So uh, like I said, this is part of the old Great Western Railway. It says up there. And uh, we're going to go from here in Broadway all the way to Cheltenham and back again. And en route, I'll tell you a little bit of the railway's history. The History Lord on tour. Welcome to the Cotswolds. The Gloucestershire Warwickshire Railway runs along part of the former Great Western Railway's line from Birmingham to Cheltenham that passed via Stratford upon Avon. The line has very scenic views of the Cotswold hamlets and villages as it passes by. The line, known as the Honeybourne Line, was built between 1900 and 1906, primarily to improve through services from Birmingham to Bristol, the West Country, and beyond. The line also carried fruit from the farming areas of the Cotswolds and the Vale of Evesham. An express service called the Cornishman, with chocolate and cream coloured coaches, ran over this railway from 1952 until 1962 and formed the Wolverhampton to Penzance service, calling it Birmingham, Stratford-upon-Avon, Cheltenham, Gloucester, Bristol, Taunton, Exeter and Plymouth. The line closed to passenger traffic in March 1960, but the line continued for goods trains until an incident at Winchcombe in August 1976, and that was the final blow that closed the line. But there would be a new lease of life for this railway. The Gloucester Warwickshire Steam Railway was formed in 1981 with an aim of one day restoring this line from Stratford Racecourse through to Cheltenham Racecourse. The line was originally double track throughout, but by the time the GWSR purchased the track bed, most of the buildings and all of the track had gone. Only Toddington Main Station Building, a hut, the signal box shell, and the good sheds remained. Over the next few years, over 14 miles of tracks were restored from Broadway to Cheltenham Racecourse. Station buildings were restored along with impressive collection of steam and diesel engines and rolling stock. This is all very impressive considering this has all been carried out by an army of volunteers using revenue from sales of tickets and donations. The engine that we had the pleasure of riding behind today was 4270, a 4200 class designed by G.J. Churchwood. These were built in Swindon for the Great Western Railway and used for heavy coal trips from mines in South Wales. These 82-tonne engines could pull in excess of 1,000 tonnes. This particular engine, 4270, was built in 1919 and withdrawn from service in 1962. Its restoration was begun at GWSR's Toddington base in 2003 and was completed in 2014, making its debut on the line at the Cotswold Festival of Steam. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoy these videos, especially the uh, little holiday ones that James and me have been doing for the past few weeks. We will be back in London very soon with some more content. So please, if you do want to subscribe, then please do that. And if you want to know when videos are uploaded, there's a little notification bell just down below. And if you want to see what we do outside these videos, please go to historylord.co.uk, see about the walking tour of London, or have a look down in the description below to see about James's YouTube channel, Last Line Films. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Take care.